Peter Honore. Hey, man. How is life downstairs? Uh, it's pretty uh, lonely, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It's pretty lonely. Well, we have got some expensive guitars to keep oh. us company. Yeah, we do. Uh, so without further ado, yes. we will live. Live in your eyes. Live in your eyes. Um, potentially oh. speed it up. Let's unbox some dragons. Let's open it to camera, Pete, so that they get to see it first. OK. OK, we're back. Do you want to see these guitars before we do? I can't hear you. It's like a special, one of those, like, Butlin's red coat. Do when you want to hear the guitars <laughs> before we do? When I say, uh, you say, uh. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. That. On your screen now is 30 grand's worth of guitars, I think. So you got the uh, darker one that you said, oh, look, it says private stock. Oh my good lord. Oh. Man, right. Oh my my. I don't know if I can take it out that way round. Dude, this is just Okay. Up to oh. Back into speed mode. Oh. Oh. Oh, looky, looky. I can't get I can't oh. get the dragon in focus. Mother. Well, we'll do sweeps. Sweep delicious. You can't, I can't hear. Look at this. Look, here it comes. Look, here it comes. Oh, you've Look. done it. You've done it. Look at the flame. Oh, my life. I mean, look at this. You can, right. Okay, so here we go. I'll get it from. There's so. The Look at the dragon's eye. Lee. <sighs> Look at the dragon's eye. eye. <laughs> um. You may remember if you watched any of our NAM show coverage uh, from January 2020 uh, that uh, Paul and the team at PRS announced a 30th anniversary private stock dragon. The dragon guitar is, um, sorry, I'm fiddling with myself. I'm just moving some keys. Uh, the dragon guitar is normally released every time there's a significant moment in the history of PRS. But it's the 35th anniversary one. Um, what is there to tell you about this other than, you know, these are all one-of-a-kind guitars, unbelievably expensive, unbelievably limited, all hand-signed by Paul on the backs of the headstocks, which you'll presumably see on some sort of close-up. Yeah. Um, Mine says two Pete. Hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of individual pieces of inlay go in to uh, make up the dragons on the fretboard. It's just... It, it it's, is it's PRS at, workmanship at its like finest. With the flame coming um, out, it is the most. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time. So I can just I can just say mine has got serial number twenty, which is the year, but then it's got three zero one seven five. So that's that's the serial right number. because uh, they um, only I that can't be right. I've got serial number eight eight one two. Yeah, so I've got the eight eight three six, but the top, you know, the top. On the top of the headstock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's got the oh, two. Oh, that's right. It? Yeah, that's so kind of weird, isn't it? So I've got stock serial number. I've got well, two yeah. nine seven 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 nine. Yeah. Awesome. Play us some beautiful music uh, because, and then we'll talk about. It's you, a world you, of the art, way man. the light bulb behind that orange amp is placed, it literally kind of makes it look like the flame breath is coming <sighs> at the end of the drag. Oh, man, this is. Do you, do you get the sort of, I get the sort of sense that there's a slight fear of playing. 
Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. It's the like same it, when I did the, uh, you know, the John Mayer, yes. uh, the, the one and the two, uh, Super Eagles. It's like at the beginning, you're like, oh, I need to keep it away from my body. Yeah. Don't play it hard. Watch the ring. All of that stuff, you know. Um, well, it's 15 grand, man. It's 15, 15 grand. 15 grand, absolutely. Yeah. Man. So look, yeah. specs wise, yeah. it's really, it's not like um, t technological crazy spec on this. The, 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 the cost is really indicative of the workmanship and the materials used yeah. rather than some sort of crazy spec. So um, you've got a guy, I believe his name's Gary Easley, that um, was one of the Dungeons and Dragons designers, actually designed <laughs> the dragon fretboard and if you go onto our website or the prs website it tells you all the different materials that we use to to, yeah. to make this and there's dozens of, of you know precious materials that have been used to in there's the... a video actually you can watch behind the scenes of it that would be cool yeah then we've got this crazy maple top um <laughs> which is going to make every single one different and you can see as well when they're sprayed the uh, a certain sort of license, if you like, is given to the person doing the spraying to, to you know, so some will be a bit darker, some will be a bit lighter. Isn't that and, like a little sponge they put on with different yeah, light, lightness? And, uh, and of course, the, the different densities of the maple yeah. and the way the paint sinks in and stuff. Um, we actually ordered three of the dragons at NAM. One's gone already, so the these are the last two and that's it. Uh, then it's like a African ribbon mahogany uh, body, Yeah. Uh, patterns, Dial neck, so it's that kind of slightly chunkier, more yep. vintage vibey kind of neck. Yeah. Uh, beautiful tuners with the sort of the matching. Phase two. I guess what are these like Phase rosewood? Yeah. Rosewood buttons. I could or, be the same wood as on the fret. Or the zero coat. Yeah. Then we've got pulls pickups. TCI, TCI pulls pickups. Oh. But instead of the the little switches that are on his guitar, we've just got the slightly more traditional push pull um, coil split pull. on the tone control. Yeah. Um, turn all of my wobble noises off oh. and just go straight clean into the amp. It's hot. Yeah, it's the hot. TCI pickups are quite hot. It, it, it so. is. If you want, you're, I think you'll use the coil split a lot on here, not just for that tone alteration, but also I think for, for the cleaner. He, and he's nailed, Paul's nailed the TCI thing. I mean, uh, clearly are these are gonna go to very wealthy collectors, no doubt about that. But if you if you just happen to have tuned into this video and you've not seen one of the other videos we've done of, of the new TCI pickups, there are guitars in the PRS range that are, you know, more sensitive. All the Paul's guitars have got um, them, yeah. And they do this, they go from that real humbucker vibe to the single coil vibe, in my opinion, better than, than any other guitar that we've tried, you know. Yeah, they want to go. Yeah, I mean, I've got the, you know, the, the, the input volume on my amp here turned down to yeah. um, nine o'clock, you know, I mean, even on my, Les Paul, that would still be, I think, slightly cleaner than this, you know. Still slightly hard for Pete and I because, again, we're not using speakers. We're using amps into load boxes and then yeah. into headphones. So uh, it's always a slightly different sound like that. But the, the, the fretboard... Uh, did you ever try any of those guitars that had like 
is it was it phenolic it was like it was almost like that sort of man-made very hard shiny uh fretboard material oh, no. and it's it's got that well, it's like glass isn't it it's yeah, literally it's like really playing. it's like a rickenbackers so oh. I don't know what else to say. No, to be honest with you, I want to try some gain on it. I was going to say, I think almost we'd be better off playing some sort of uh, like Marvin Gaye music and just giving you sweet <laughs> close-ups of the guitars. Um, can you play? Uh, can I want to try something? gain on the back okay, pickup. Try some... Still a bit scared of it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I am. So I'm not normally scared, but no. you know, I think again. I know Pete and I bang on about love enjoying relic guitars, and and I know it sets the internet on fire with people who don't like them. But there is that sense of just like, you know, that's one of the things that's kind of cool about a relic guitar, isn't it? Is it straight just, out of the box? You can just go. Rah! But was this exactly. like? I can't even play it. Let me play that again. I don't even think that's the right sound. Can I just ask a question? Because when you, if you turn the guitar over and you're at the back of the guitar, right? Why would you do that? Because if you look at the lacquer, it looks to me like this is proper nitro. I don't think it says in the spec, does it? But I mean, they are using... Can you using... see the grain? I can see the grain. If you look in the light, I can see the grain. So can I. See? Well, he is using, what's this new hybrid lacquery thing? It's a hybrid thing, thing where of, you, yeah, um, but it's got a, a layer of, of nitro on the top of it, I, I believe. It's all about, so mi the mi it's like a mixture. I know, it's all about getting the lacquer so that it's thin enough that the wood, it doesn't prevent the wood from sort of vibrating in a certain smell way. Smell it, smell it. But it's, you know, Paul's obsessed with this idea of, you know, using finishes that, Smell that. Keep the guitars absolutely immaculate looking over time. You can definitely smell. That's definitely nitro, that's isn't it? That's dragon, um, dragon breath sweat. <laughs> uh. Man, I'm going to play a really big uh, clean chord here now, because I want to. This is really an awkward demo, this one, isn't it? It, is, like, it is a little I awkward. I don't want to hurt it. This is the middle position with the split, with both split. It's that. definition of those notes is ridiculous. Yeah. It's like it's almost like it's got a piazza or something fitted that's to it. That's the my my Paul's does that. Mm. It's just these pickups. They this this whole this whole mm. you can hear the pick when I mm. The note definition and the balance of the notes, every the volume of each note is so perfectly, yeah, yeah. It's very, very. I'm, I must admit, this probably ends up almost being a, a better video and almost an advert for just the, the regular PRS guitars <laughs> with the TCI pickups fitted. Yeah, but this, 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 as you say, this will go to somebody who's got mm -hmm. money who wants to buy this guitar and hang it 
on a wall. Maybe played once in a while, who knows? But it's this is a collector's item you know, for me. You know where it'll probably go? It'll go to a guy who's got the other nine dragons already. <laughs> yes, probably. And if you go on the website, actually, the funny story of this is there's a whole thing about the dragon guitars where Paul, when he was 16, wanted to build a guitar with a dragon uh, inlaid down the headstock and then started doing it uh, in, what was it, 94, 96? 80, 85. Oh, 90, when was the first yeah. dragon? Yeah. Right, yeah. 94, sure, I think, but... something like that. But have a look, have, read the whole story. There's a whole page on the PRS website and it's a really interesting thing. And you see all the, down to the double neck, the, the double when neck I, when dragon. When I was a teenage boy, I don't, I don't remember having any dreams about when you're 16. <laughs> dragons on the fretboard. No. I remember having other dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, maybe, exactly. maybe. But, that's just a testament. Man, I don't know what else we can say about these. They're wonderful, beautiful guitar. That's how much gain. It's, <laughs> these are super hot. I'm really, I don't remember the normal TCI ones being so hot, yeah. but maybe they are. Yeah, these are beautiful. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. That's what you Keep want. Going. You... Keep going. It's like smoky chrome hardware. It's, yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. It's beautifully, beautifully stunning, done. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, there we go. There was a little jam in the endly. And there was a I little don't know, jam what, in what, the end. Half of me wants to just sit and... You want to sit and noodle, but people don't want to see that. Lee, there's one question you can answer before we go. Does it play the lick? Let's just try it. I'm um, not sure. I'm not sure. Do you think Dragon... Uh, So much sustain. It's a lot of sustain. That's enough. Enough of that. That is Lee, enough. We are, we are kind of speechless here, aren't we? Uh, but we just... still want to play. I still want to play because this is, this is one of the only chances we actually get to sit with one of these It's, bon it's bonkeroo, isn't it? It's bonkeroo. Let's do some close-ups of these so that the guy, we'll insert those as we've been playing. Look yeah. at that, man. What would you call that? What are they? Isn't it called something like dragon's frostbite breath or breath? What would you beautiful. call the color if, I don't you, know. if you were working for Paul? Just beautiful. I'd call it, I suppose it has to be dragon related, doesn't it? But it's so what was your serial number again? 
the two zero uh, numbers. Eight eight three six on this one. Well, that's true. Double eight one two, but I'm not sure what our. I suppose on our website it's you'll the top see one. all the photography. The the, the yeah. top one for me is. The year 20 and then 297779. And this one is 20, which is the year, and then 30, 10, 75. So 301075. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. If you ah, got, come on, that's it. If you Let's got just the money. show you. Case candy. Okay, so you kind of saw the case when we opened it. Uh, it's got that beautiful private stock um, There's logo. There's not really much in there. Uh, oh, you get your... You do get your I'm going to Anderton's put this, USB card I'm going with to put this all the down. photography that uh, Anderton's has taken of this guitar as a keepsake. You get put this away your now. little toolkit and your PRS stuff. And then I I'm want to see, of it. Can, you, uh, can you open your certificate? Um, or shall I open mine? Have they been opened already? I don't want to open it if it hasn't oh, been opened. It hasn't been opened already. Let's no, just, just hold, it up. Open it. hold it up to the light then and see if we can see through the envelope. Yeah, signed by Paul, that's for sure. And I think you can just about see through. So you obviously get some beautiful A4 gold leaf or whatever is inside this envelope. Curly certificate. Maple, with all the specs on it, curly maple. Is that better light? Say there? goodbye. Say goodbye to this uh, one of a kind beauty. Yeah. It's, it's going back in here. And then at some point on Instagram, I hope to see a hashtag Anderton's made me do it uh, <laughs> with somebody <laughs> holding up a. A oh, PRS man. Dragon, yeah. or two. Or two. Can you imagine buying both of these? I've lost your voice different. in my headphones, Pete. Is that, is that my headphones, no, that's your or headphones. is that because your mic's not working anymore? That's your headphones. Your headphones. You're right, it's totally my headphones. Yeah. Anyway, okay. there we are, Lee. That was a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to do some sweeps of these guitars now and put them in the back of my car. And run away. And just, and just put them back in the warehouse. Beautiful, wonderful. I think I've worn a very appropriate T-shirt. Yeah, thank you very That's much for watching. That's really the message. Yeah. <laughs> you can't buy these anymore from Anderson's, but this is an old one, anyway. Speechless. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>